We carry within ourselves a powerful energy that impacts our inner and outer world. When we groom this energy at the start of the day, it helps us to stay mindful in our thoughts, emotions, spirit and body. I like to call it setting the tone for the day. The key aim is to step into our day, our power, acknowledging that every experience and interaction will add value to us. And at the same time, ensuring that neither someone nor something will easily sway us off our centeredness and inner awareness. There are many ways one can achieve this through breath work, prayer, exercise, mindful walking, journaling, and meditation. Meditation is perhaps one of the best ways to groom our energy and set the tone for the day. Today's meditation that I'm about to share will explore the quality of the universal essence that resides within. This universal essence is the limitless resource that helps balance, influence, enhance, and groom each of us. Do you believe we each have a visionary within us? Do you trust, engage, and encourage the potential and passion of this visionary? I like to call our visionary as our divine spark. I truly hope this meditation I'm about to share with you will inspire, reawaken, or further groom the visionary, the divine spark within you. So let us begin. Gently close your eyes. Or if you prefer to keep your eyes open, then lower your eyelids and gaze gently towards the floor. Get comfortable. Stillness is helpful, but don't feel the pressure to keep it that way. If your body needs adjustments from time to time, acknowledge it and move it in small ways that is appropriate for you at the moment. If thoughts come, let them. Don't judge yourself for having thoughts. Let them come and go. Just do not engage in the thought. They will fade slowly and you will not even notice them. Now start observing your natural, spontaneous breath. The very thought that you are connecting to your breath will raise your awareness about it. And perhaps you might start to adjust your breathing. Try and keep it as normal as you can. Slowly shift your attention to your spine and allow it to lengthen in two directions. Let the root chakra, located at the base of your spine, help you settle into the surface where you are seated. And allow your feet to feel deeply rooted to Mother Earth, while you sense your crown lifting up towards the sky. Focus on this core column of energy that runs at the center of you. Your spine is a column of energy. With every inhalation, move earth energy from the root chakra to the crown. On every exhalation, bring in spiritual energy from the crown to the root. Feel the energy running up and down this column. Every inhalation, earth energy from the root chakra to the crown. 
and on your exhalation bring in spiritual energy from the crown to the root. This technique clears energetic blockages. Just keep observing the energy going up and down your spine. Dedicate this meditative reflection today as an assessment of the quality of the universal essence within you. Commit to be completely honest with yourself, with no judgment to what comes up, and offer only compassion and support in the process so that you can inspire, reawaken, or refine your collaboration with your divine spark. As you take in the energy of the wisdom shared by Marianne Williamson as a guide today. Our deepest fear. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that the other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Gently take your attention to the top of your head, the crown chakra, the proud bearer of the thousand petal lotus and your connection to the infinite wisdom and intelligence of the universe. Your thousand petal lotus crown is your vessel through which you receive the essence of your divine spark. Visualize your divine spark as a beautiful white light glowing just above your lotus. And visualize little sparkles of this light gently fall on the lotus petals. Each sparkle carries the potential to inspire the infinite unfolding of the petals, infusing them with light, passion, hope and vibrancy. Observe how comfortable you are with this divine unfolding. Observe the petals. Are they open, closed, or somewhere in between? Breathe and allow this moment to encourage sparkles to open a petal. Feel the pulse of a brand new day with a fresh sense of excitement, new ideas, and inner strength.
pause and gently open to the presence of your divine spark into your being. As in your mind you say, I'm always connected to the universal source of infinite knowledge, wisdom, and it resides within me as my divine spark. I'm always connected to the universal source of infinite knowledge, wisdom, and it resides within me as my divine spark. I'm always connected to the universal source of infinite knowledge and wisdom, and it resides within me as my divine spark. Allow the infinite wisdom and guidance of your divine spark to gently enter your third eye chakra at the middle of your forehead. And allow it to transform into a fluorescent dark blue ball of guiding light. Bringing with it the power to illuminate your path to your inner insight and perception as it gives shape to your divine spark. Observe the intensity of your guiding light. Is it crystal clear and shining brightly through your third eye? Or do you observe any clutter or fear blocking the light? Acknowledge whatever comes up for you today and surrender to the universal guiding light to clear and brighten your path. The more you surrender, the more comfortable you become with the communication from the guiding light. As you say to yourself, my intelligence and intuition guide me to walk my path with conviction. My intelligence and intuition guide me to walk my path with conviction. My intelligence and intuition Guide me to walk my path with conviction. Emanating brightly, allow your ball of guiding light to enter the space in your throat chakra and magically open up into the expansive blue sky residing within your throat. The expansive energy of the blue sky sends vibrations of sound that is unique to you, instilling in you the conviction to express and communicate your vision, your truth. Observe the quality of the sound vibrations internally and externally. Are they coherent and in harmony or are they dissonant? Are the sounds positive, motivating, joyful? Or are they negative, stuck, fearful, hesitant? Be gentle and let the vibrations of sound bring compassion and healing so you can hear the pulsating energy of your voice echoing and saying within you, I express my divine spark with confidence and conviction. I express my divine spark with confidence and conviction. I express my divine spark with confidence 
and conviction. Confidently let this ball of light enter the heart center. Let the air within and around you infuse this light with a hue of emerald green as it roams freely within you and from you unconditionally like a breath of fresh air into your auric field and beyond. The power of breath can give wings to your divine spark to manifest in your world. Observe the quality of your breath in your heart center. Is it effortless, free flowing? Or is it restricting and heavy? Do you feel the air within and around you supporting you and bringing synchronized ripples of love, acceptance and encouragement? Spread the vision of your divine spark with the words, I share my divine spark with love and light freely and gracefully. I share my divine spark with love and light freely and gracefully. I share my divine spark with love and light freely and gracefully. Gently allow this beautiful light now to transmute into a yellow ball of fire that infuses your solar plexus chakra of desire and confidence, giving structure and focus to your inherent power to perform and manifest your vision with the support of your divine spark. Observe what kind of fire burns in your solar plexus. Is it clean? contained, yielding, or is it smoldering, smothered, or almost diminished? Acknowledge the state of your fire with complete honesty and compassion. Pause to adjust the fire so it's supportive of your journey as you manifest your divine spark. Recognize the source of the fuel and how you can adapt to circumstances with complete presence as you say to yourself, I stand strong and focused in my personal power today and always. I stand strong and focused in my personal power today and always. I stand strong and focused in my personal power today and always. Guide this radiant ball of strength to dive gracefully into the rhythm of your body of water, your sacral chakra, the seat of your creativity. The element of water inspires movement and creative shape of your vision. What is the quality of your body of water? Is it like a lake? an ocean or a puddle? Is the water raging or gently flowing or contained? 
Is your divine spark thriving in this body of water? Or is it struggling? Acknowledge with compassion whatever comes up for you today. Identify the source of your water and adjust the quality of your water that is supportive for you at this moment. So you are comfortable with the words, I honor and express the creativity of my divine spark. I honor and express the creativity of my divine spark. I honor and express the creativity of my divine spark. With that confidence, gently guide this beautiful light to roll into the root chakra for manifestation on Mother Earth. The nurturing energy of Mother Earth receives you and your vibrant divine spark energy with open arms and roots it firmly into her core. What is the quality of your roots? Are they wide and deep? Or are they short and thin? Is there room for new roots to grow and establish themselves? Is the soil fertile and moist? Or is it dry and parched? Whatever the quality, acknowledge and inquire what adjustments you need to make at this moment for the manifestation of your divine spark in your world. So that you can confidently say to yourself, as Mother Earth grounds and protects me, I manifest my divine spark in the here and now. As Mother Earth grounds and protects me, I manifest my divine spark in the here and now. As Mother Earth grounds and protects me, I manifest my divine spark in the here and now. Our divine spark paves the way to light and fulfillment. And in Rumi's words, we carry inside us the wonders we seek outside us. Gently sense a smile of confidence and strength within. As you reconnect with your breath, Take a nice deep breath in. Bringing yourself back to this present moment. So that you are ready to step into the day with graceful focus and centeredness. Once you feel ready with your next exhalation, very gently, open your eyes and feel ready to step into your day with your power, your divine spark.